Hey guys, what if here and welcome back to World of Outlaws Dirt Racing Championship Mode for race 13 of 14. We're going to Fairbury Speedway. And it is the penultimate race of the season for this. So yeah, two more to go. We have a 26 point lead over Brad Sweet and a 36 over Carson Masito. If I said that right. It took, took me the whole series to figure that out. Thanks to the comment section, so thank you. Um, gravel, yeah, so 30, so, um, depends on where we finish here, but we should, even if we get a top 10, I think we'll still be okay. Brad Sweet basically just needs to not win, and then we'll be going into the last race probably in good standing, so, I don't know, I did a lot of practicing, and the track's pretty tricky, and just, I don't know, I, I don't know how it's gonna go exactly, but, yeah, so the settings, same as usual. I spent a lot of just practice time just trying to get used to this track because there's a specific line you have to use. It's very unconventional from what other tracks are, are kind of like, so I don't, I don't know. But at least with the 410s, that's what I was kind of discovering. But what I did discover is not really discovered, but rediscovered. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to segue into this. It's not working. But always a big shout out to my two dude Patreon people as well as my YouTube members for supporting my channel again. Really appreciate it means a lot it's it's hunting season now and i'm going to be go out hunting and i don't want hunters to think i'm an animal and get shot so i don't why i just used that same joke again what is wrong with me point is i don't want to be hunting for food and you guys make me food wait <laughs> wait that sounds like i'm a cannibal wait <laughs> wait i don't know i don't know but thank you so much and i appreciate it without further ado We'll get into it and try to avoid the cops. <laughs> Through the last corner, at first I was a 9.7 and it's slowly lower. Okay, 16th, yikes. Um, I think I can get 19, I don't know, sixes, I don't know. But we'll go into a heat. I can't even speak. Brad Sweet's on pole, that's terrifying. That's not really the ideal scenario. So, uh, yeah, that's very concerning. We're going to go into the heat. Let's make sure we don't have to go through like seven rounds to get to the main. We're on the outside though, but usually from what I figured out, the inside line on these starts are pretty much important, or it's just the ideal lane to be in until it kind of spreads out a little bit. Because you can't go up to the super top. That's what I learned. It's like right around here, once you see the car kind of bouncing, then it's like, okay, you're going faster there. I don't know, it's just how my brain works. But you can't go up to the top. You have to go like slightly below it. So that's interesting. For fourth, you might be able to get third, but I can't do that currently because I just don't have the the talent required to actually you know, nail that efficiently. My flags out. Not a whole lot I can do. They're just so much faster. I don't know what it is. The AI just always seem to be really, really OP here. But we'll get into the aiming. Pretty, you know, pretty straightforwardly, if that's a word, I don't know. But we'll be starting 16th, so that's really exactly where we qualified, so it's, I'm fine with that. But yeah, Brad Sweet uh, is having a sweet race, if I do say so myself, with how well he's running. So that's a little bit terrifying, and we might lose a lot of points to him today, so that's a little bit concerning. Alrighty, four wide salute as usual. The scary thing is we're starting on the outside. On these starts especially, because it seems like the inside line's better. We're gonna have to find a way down there. And that I just don't know how that's gonna work. Alright. So turn one. Alright, good. We got to the inside. Perfect. We're just gonna stay down here for a little bit. I don't know, I, it, it took me forever to kind of figure out how to run this track, because it just seemed like, no matter what I what I did, the AI always just were super fast, but it seems like the, the, the lane right before you get to the top is about the fastest, or almost the middle lane seems to be pretty good too, so, I don't know, it's interesting. But yeah, so far, I mean, we did gain a couple of spots, we're up to 12th, I think, we're, yeah, we did pass 11th, so 
We're making progress, but the problem is Brad Sweet is leading, and we are going to probably lose a crap ton of points if he ends up winning. But with how narrow this track is, not narrow, but just, I guess it is narrow. Um, I'm expecting some AI flippage, so we should expect some kind of yellow at some point. So that might help us gain some spots. There is some carnage beside me, which was terrifying, but we're up to P8, so that's actually not too bad. And I don't know if we're gonna... Oh, Donnie shot, you were just... Actually, he wasn't even really that close to me. I just, I just scared myself. Oh, yeah, I... I oh, oh, God. All right, well, we did lose a spot. Okay, uh, Don, Donnie shots, if you're gonna go... Oh, God. The, I actually almost, almost came with a dead stop there. All right, come on, there we go. Outside line prepared. <laughs> prevailed. I can't talk. But yeah, this is... Uh, Actually, it's 10 laps longer than a regular quick race mode, so... Interestingly... I mean, that's either really good or bad. We're currently 8th, which... Is about a tie for our worst finish of the season. But, yeah. Um... Yeah, all we can really do is just try to lessen the bleeding with all this, so... I guess we'll just relax for a little bit. Try to get into more of a rhythm, even though I feel like I'm doing pretty alright as is, but... I'm gonna try my best to get around down to shots. If, if I can. Not a whole lot's happened since I last talked. I mean, we're catching some lap traffic, but it's not really... It would be much of a problem. Uh, Donnie Shots has pulled away from me, so we're just kind of chilling in eight. Surprised we haven't gotten any, like, AI-related yellows yet. I feel like that's gonna... Oh, no, they're right on cue! They, they heard me talking. Yep, that's a yellow, yeah. I, that, that, made, that made sense, because there was two cars. And that was actually for position. I don't know who was involved, but... Probably the P7. It was not Brad Sweet, so okay, that was that was good. We were very close to going a lap down too, by the way, so that would have been interesting. But running inside line on the start here, so that's good. We might be able to kind of gain some uh, positions here. So we're gonna just gonna try to do that for a little bit. We got like what 13 to go, 12 to go. So this is not bad. This is actually going pretty well. Brad Sweet is just ripping that high lane, and it might cost him. I don't know. But if he doesn't win. That's going to be really good for us because you get, you know, like extra points for winning. Well, an extra, like, two points in, like, normal, so any little bit helps. But he's back at least, never mind. Yeah, it just seems like the bottom lane is the way to go. I just slide job Sammy Swindell. That was kind of a badass move, but I don't know how long that's going to last. I mean, clearly we don't deserve to be running up here. This car just wasn't that, that good, but the yellow saved us. And there was... Ooh, ooh, almost, almost ran Hanjiel, so... Uh, stop hitting them. Oh, actually, oh, all right, I'll take fourth. I didn't expect that. They're already catching lap traffic. Something must have happened behind me that I'm not aware of because we should not be catching them this quickly. Three laps to go. Trying to catch third place here, which will be another valuable two points that we can acquire. We are slowly reeling them in, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. I can't use that super high lane. Like, you see that run he gets up corner? I, I, I cannot physically do that. So, yeah, I, I, I don't understand. Some, I don't know, if there was a car wrecked or something, I don't know, white flags out and we lost the spots. That's... Oh, my God! No, don't, don't lose. I want to get fit. I want to be fit. Yes! Oh, God. Oh, I can barely talk. Oh, my God. We almost lost more spots there right at the very end. But we did it. We salvaged what we could. That, that could have been so much worse, but... I will happily take a top five when we were pretty much running eighth that whole race. With the finishing results, obviously, Brad Sweet pretty much just dominated the entire weekend, so that's going to be, what, four, seven, eight. So we're going to lose about ten points, I believe, on on them, which is... So we're going to be going into it with a 16-point lead, I think. Let me look at the... double-check this, so... Yeah, 16 points. That's the gap. And he basically needs to win and for us to get about 8th or ninth. So we just need to go into the last race and just pretty much have a top 10 run. And we should be alright. So, that's the situation. Uh, Gravel is a little bit further back. And uh, Carson kind of has a shot. But I, th I think it's really just between me and Brad Sweet and Gravel. I guess those are technically the top 3. But, yeah. So, we did, what we, we did what we needed to do. Got out of there in decent shape. 
and yeah, that was not as bad as I was fearing. I don't know. After Fairbury, we go to Charlotte for the Dirt Roval. Dirt Roval? What? <laughs> the Dirt Oval. For the finale of our championship mode. I don't know why I thought Roval. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. Dirt Roval. That sounds... That's basically Jefferson in, in the Heat games. Um, yeah. I don't know how we'll, how we'll do there in the Sprint Four Tens. I haven't done that before. But if it's anything like the Las Vegas one that we did earlier in the season... Or Texas, I guess. Do we we did a Vegas one earlier, didn't we? Yeah. So that I mean, we won there, but I don't know if we're gonna do the same there. But I think we'll be able to run pretty well. I don't know, just speculating. But we have a decent point cushion. We just need to pretty much go in there and just have pretty much a top ten run, and we should lock it up no matter what. But Brasley is definitely keeping me honest, so I'll, I'll give him that much. But for now, we'll wrap up today's episode. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters of Dale Reynolds, Kamikaze Games, Dave Burns, Champ 15, Nassim Recite, Dot Org, Billy Kier, Golf Game 100, Lumia, Bevisor, Masculine 1986, Mark Harmon, and Ackbar Fan 5556 for the support. Again, it's always very much appreciated what you guys do for the channel every single month. It does mean a lot. And it's just just awesome. You always go above and beyond for supporting the channel, and it's always very much appreciated. And I'm very thankful. Again, the close of Thanksgiving, so I should be saying that way more often. I'll see you all next episode, next race for the finale of the championship mode for this. I have no idea what I'm going to do beyond it. I don't know if I'm going to do another championship mode or, or what. I might try to go back to uh, Ultimate Edition Plus and finish up the the, the championship or yeah, the, the championship mode that I kind of have set up for that. Because I have about five more races left on that. So, uh, or six. I don't know. I can't remember. But maybe I'll be finishing that up and then coming back to this. I don't know. And do like all the the racing, all the all the basically all the tracks in championship mode. There's like 42 of them. <laughs> if you guys want to see that, I don't know, but I don't know. Just a little inside sneak peek of what I kind of have planned or want to have planned. I don't know. But either way, that'll do it for me in this episode. I'll see you all next one. See you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.